I decided to make and bake a whole wheat leopard bread. I think it's so pretty and of course it's healthy and it's a little bit on the heavy side but of course I grew up eating rye bread every single day in my childhood so I'm used to heavy bread and I think this is really great. So let's start mixing. following one and a half cup of flour one and a half cup of whole wheat flour one cup of milk and in the milk has been heated up to about 110 Fahrenheit and I'm going to mix in one package of dry yeast to the milk just stir it up and leave it to leave it for a while while I'm doing the rest of the ingredients uh, then I have one teaspoon of salt, a quarter cup of honey, and also a quarter cup of oil. And for the large uh, brown patches, I'm going to use about an eight cup of cocoa with a tablespoon of milk. And for the smaller brown patches, I'm going to use one and a half, half tablespoon of cocoa mixed with a little bit of milk. And also I'm going to add uh, a couple of drops of black food coloring to those darker patches. So I'm going to start mixing up the flour with the milk and so on. And here I pour in the flour. Here's the whole wheat flour, the oil, the honey, milk with the yeast, and then I'm going to mix it all up. And of course I also Shouldn't forget the salt, it has to be in the dough. If you find it's a little bit too soft, just add a little bit more flour, which I'm doing, okay? And I will let the machine continue. So I added another two large tablespoons of flour and I will continue mixing. And here I'm mixing the one and eight cup of cocoa with milk. Let's mix it up thoroughly. And in the smaller bowl, I am also a little milk with one and a half tablespoons of cocoa. And to the smaller portion, I'm adding first two drops of black food coloring, maybe one more drop. That's sufficient. So I added a total of three drops of black food coloring. And my mixer did a good job, but I like to finish it off on the table. So I sprinkle flour on the table and I can leave it to rise for, I would say, up to two hours. That should be fine. So it's all done. I put it in the bowl here. I cover it up and I'll be back in two hours. So I punch down the dough and uh, I'm going to divide it into three portions. Okay, so first I do it, take half. Okay. And of the other half, I do one, approximately one third. I cut off and two thirds, right? So the one third I'm going to make really dark. And here is cocoa mixture, so I'll mix this in. This darker piece is all finished. I leave that alone for a bit. And then I'm going to mix the other piece. And this will be lighter brown, of course. Mix it into the bread and keep kneading until it evenly brown all over. And of course, if you feel you need to get it darker, go ahead and do that. Just add some more cocoa powder. And here you see my three pieces. The smallest piece is the darkest, then the lighter brown piece, and then the neutral piece. First I cu cut it in half, and then the one half I cut into two, and the other part I cut into three pieces, also with the chocolate pieces here. Okay, first, like I said, first in half, and then the one half I cut into two pieces, the other rest of it I cut into three, and the same thing here. And here I'm rolling the dark chocolate piece 
okay and then I take one of the smaller white bread pieces now I'm going to flatten it like that okay I put the chocolate piece inside and I squeeze this piece a little bit around and you don't need to completely squeeze it together okay so here I have the light brown piece and I'm rolling it out to a long thin piece just about as long as my bread pan is okay this should be it okay so this is done now I take a darker piece and I also roll that out and it has to be as long as the other piece okay and then I roll it flat for my rolling pin make sure it's long enough and then I put the lighter piece inside and I squeeze this around it and it doesn't have to cover it completely and then you can roll it a little bit too to make sure it sticks together and if it doesn't add a little water that will help and now I take the lightest piece of dough and I roll that it has to be as long as the first piece and it has to cover it completely. I flatten it and then I roll it a little bit. And I continue with the rest of the pieces. So here we have a small piece of the brown dough. Roll that out. So I roll this lighter brown piece long as long as the bread pan is and that should be right now okay then I take one of the dark brown pieces and I roll that of course they have to be the same length and the darker piece I roll flat okay and then I put the other the lighter brown piece inside. Just adding a little water, this will make it stick better when I roll it around. And it doesn't have to cover it all the way. And just squeeze it together. And so I can also roll it a little bit. Okay, then I take one of the light pieces of dough and I have to roll that out and it has to cover the the first piece completely and then I roll it flat okay stick this inside and then we cover it completely squeeze it together and again like I said add a little bit of water here makes it easier to get it to stick and the two bigger pieces I'm going to roll out so they get twice as long and then I'm cut, cutting them in half. So just keep rolling until it's twice as long because they have to be, each piece has to be the length of the bread pan. Let's see, just a little bit more. All right, let's see here. Okay, and I stick it in the, in the pan. Here's the, here's the last piece. I'm rolling that twice as long as it was. And then I'll cut that in half too. And put that in the bread pan. And then the pan is full and I'm going to let them rise before I can put it in the oven and bake it. So I'll be back in about an hour. And the bread has risen and I'm now brushing it with a little milk before I stick it in the oven. The oven has been set at 375 Fahrenheit and I should bake it for about 25 minutes. So my leopard bread was finished baking in the oven. I took it out and I left it here in the form for five, 10 minutes. And now I'm going to pour it out. 
So here we go. And I think it's a very pretty bread. It's not only pretty, but it's extremely healthy because it's a whole grain bread. So here, look at that. And I know it's going to taste great. And mmm, I'm now tasting my whole grain leopard bread. I think it's very good. It's healthy. It's very pretty. And I like it. Hopefully you'll also make it. And please subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. See ya. School.